It's Wednesday the 12th of May, it's a Members' Day today, um, and as well as being New Zealand Sign Language Week, it's uh, Rotoman uh, Language Week. It's one of... Well, let's, let's find out. We've got, I've got two <laughs> guests with me. Yeah. Um, can you do some introductions and also tell us a little bit about um, Rotoman? Noi <laughs> Irio inos ni mutusa no atau mau inafata pema. Tengah aja tu ko no ay mau risios. Fanga aja tu is ni pur si ut tu ko rito no yang tu is. Now I've got a beautiful garland on here. Um, what do you call it? Tifui. Yep, tifui. Definitely tifui. Yeah, it is. It is very special and and sort of unique. It's got. I'm told it's got seven stars yes. for the seven different districts in Rotoma. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. definitely. So yeah, it represents our seven districts. We have seven chiefs that look after our seven districts, uh, starting from the highest ranking is uh, Tau, then uh, Oinafa, uh, Itu Tiu, Malhaa, um, then we go to Chuchu, uh, Pepche, then Itu Muta. So that's our seven districts right. on the island. Okay, that, that sounds really good. And if I was if I was to say hello, how would I say that? Noa'ia. Noa ia? Yes. Noa ia. Yeah. That, yeah, that's, I'm, I'm, for someone who's not good, not good at stuff, that's, that's not too hard. Now, we better get on with what we're, what we're here for, and that's what's happening today. As I said, it's a Members' Day. We start off with uh, questions to ministers, Judith Collins to the Prime Minister, uh, about standing by her statements and actions. Uh, Shannon Halbert uh, to the Minister for Infrastructure about recent reports. Uh, Chloe Swarbrick uh, to the Associate Minister uh, to do with public housing about requiring uh, rent review clauses uh, to be in residential contracts. Angela Roberts to the Minister of Education about wages for um, early childhood workers. Andrew Bailey to the Minister for Infrastructure about shovel-ready projects. Emily Henderson to the Minister of Health about hospital facilities in Northland. Louise Upston to the Minister for Social Development uh, about whether people are, all the people who are getting special needs grants for emergency housing are safe. Uh, Tangi Utakiri to the Minister for Building and Construction about building consents. Uh, Chris Bishop to the Minister for COVID uh, about whether he agrees with the Prime Minister about the vaccine rollout. Um, to Ingrid Leary to the Minister for Pacific Peoples about what recent announcements has he made about supporting uh, Pacific languages in New Zealand. David Seymour to the Minister of Finance uh, about tax cuts and Nicola Willis to the Minister of Housing about Kiwi Bill. So after oral questions, we will have a general debate. Uh, we'll have uh, 12 speakers each of five minutes and then we will go on to Members' Bills, the second reading of the uh, uh, District Court Protection of Judgment Debtors with Disabilities uh, in the name of Anahila Kanogataha Suisuiki. This is a bill just to stop uh, creditors taking away things which are necessary uh, for um, a, a, a debtor's care, you know, or their support of their independence, and provide some restrictions. Um, there's a rights for victims of insane offenders bill, second reading. This gives the courts the ability to say um, that a, uh, a, an offender had acted grievously um, even if they were found guilty because they didn't have the intent or the ability to form the intent. Then the Electoral Integrity Repeal Amendment Bill in the second reading in the name of the Honourable Dr Nick Smith. Uh, my understanding is with that bill, which is unusual for bills at second reading, it's unlikely uh, to proceed. If we get through that, we'll have the second reading of the uh, Superannuation and Retirement Income Residency Amendment Bill, which over a period of time raises the, um, the 
minimum residency qualifications for New Zealand superannuation. So we'll we'll finish tonight at ten o'clock, and uh, we're going to come back. We're going to come back tomorrow at two o'clock. Do you want to tell us how we say that? Back tomorrow at two o'clock. Yes. Um Fua mo si mahalo lum isla tonet ho ek ma ho ho akim si uti is e hero heta e ka. Well, that's that's a bit more complicated than I can repeat, <laughs> but it's really good to get um, yet another Pacific language uh, into our series. And very shortly, we're going to have Ingrid Leary uh, saying the prayer in Rotomant for us. So, see you tomorrow. <laughs>